Do you support the abolition of abortion? I absolutely do, and I'm deeply troubled by the opposition to that that came from our own Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission. I do not have a problem personally with those who might hold an incrementalist position except for the fact if you say that you know within our current state legislature I'm speaking of the 50 various state legislatures across the country that because maybe they are democratically held or whatever that they there's no ability to get an abolition but we can move this ball forward that's a different argument than what happened here in the state of Louisiana where you had I am told by multiple people a veto-proof majority in both chambers of your state legislature for the abolition of abortion. And to me, it is a travesty of biblical justice that our cooperative program dollars were used to partner with other supposed pro-life organizations to oppose the abolition of abortion when we had it here in the state of Louisiana within our grasp. If you're going to claim that an incremental approach is the better and wiser approach, I want to ask, pray tell, what is it that you're moving incrementally toward? If you're moving incrementally toward the abolition of abortion, then why would you not accept it? And it's not only that they didn't just accept it, they affirmatively, actively opposed it. And Southern Baptists should be outraged that our cooperative program dollars were used to do that. Did you support the abolition of abortion resolution in 2021 at the SBC? Yes, I did. And once again, it, we should be embarrassed that we had to override our own resolutions committee just to get it brought to the floor. And even though the convention passed that abolition bill after we overrode the committee, brought it to the floor, that resolution continued to be criticized by members of the resolutions committee, including current leadership in the Southern Baptist Convention.